Good morning everyone. It's James Carpenter of Country Living. We're going to start a new project in this video and I'll turn the camera around and show you what we're getting into. Okay, we've got a little bit of this, I call it inlay, this uh, skid lumber. Actually, what it looks like when it's complete is what you're seeing over here. Now it looks to me, based on what I'm seeing here, as this wood dries, it shrinks just a little bit. I've got some pretty good gaps there that weren't there originally. So let me walk around all this stuff in here without tripping and explain what we're gonna do. All right, so. This is just a sample. This is one piece of wood. And that will go all the way across like that and all the way up the wall. So that's that's the project today. I'm going to try to do a few of these sections while the weather is still halfway decent. And then once this little area here is done, I pretty much got the rest of the building finished up as you can see and along with what you can see is a whole bunch of junk but I am known for collecting junk okay I got it done and this is how it turned out Okay, so I've got a little bit of something going on here between these two 4x4s, this gap here. I will figure something out for that. I don't know if I want to take time to put a bunch of this uh, slab lumber in there. Or just put some, uh, some kind of window frame around it would cover all that. I did one other thing over here real quick. I didn't like the way that gap under there looked. So I had a little cut off here. And I just basically cut it to an angle to fit and staple it on there just aesthetically. It looks a lot better. All right, I'm doing a little bit of cleanup in the other building. We'll go look at that here in a minute. Now, this is some more stuff that I drug out of that building. And there's some stuff I brought out of the 20-foot uh, shipping container. Obviously, it probably looks like just junk, but I will sort through it. Now, I did a um, plastic bag right there was full of uh, all these cotter pins you see here. So I've been sitting in this chair right here from Taco Bell. I... Um, I know you're probably thinking, well, why would you take the time to sort all these? I guess it's because I like things to be organized. And I'll be quite honest with you, when I sit there and I sort through these things, and I listen to the radio, it's, it's pretty peaceful. I kind of enjoy it. Let's go out and take a look at that shipping container. Whoa, there we go, my son. That was a surprise. All right, so what I did is I took a bunch of stuff out of that, I call it the 1820s barn. Get that strap out of the way. All this stuff you see here, the pegboard, the shelving, the metal uprights and stuff for the shelving, that skid of lumber, you probably seen me bring that home the other day. And down here, we've got a bunch of, it's particle wood, but it's still cut to dimension. It's two by four, and it's for the shelving. So all that got put in the shipping container. A little bit of junk back here still got to be sorted through. 
and obviously I got another ship container, another location that has a lot of junk. I managed to get all the scaffolding and stuff out of the um, the shipping container that's part of the uh, barn, pole barn itself. So that's where we're at. Now we're going to take a little walk and we're going to look at the uh, area I cleaned up. Okay, we're down at the other barn, the one I call the 1820s barn. And I know it still looks cluttered, don't get me wrong, but you you seen an earlier view of this area and what it looked like and what it looks like now. At least you can move around in here. So what I plan to do is I'll come in here with a broom and I'll sweep up, I'll organize, get everything looking a lot better. There's a lot of sawdust here from where I did that project on that wall the last day or so. And then I don't know if I ever told you or not, but all those bottles came out of this building when we were getting ready to pour the concrete. We're digging them out of the mud. So those are little, little keepsakes. And for what it's worth, that's all the different license years I licensed my motorcycle. Look at that. But no more, I'm done riding motorcycles. So let me get a broom and let me get busy. Okay, I got everything swept up. It looks a lot better in here. Got all that sawdust off the uh, saws. Got all the sawdust off the floor. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the pegboard that's over here on the wall where you see them two hoses and that other patch right there. And I just came from the other shop, took a tractor up there and got a skid load of, uh, basically I call this my lawnmower stuff. Anything that pertains to the lawnmowers is on this skid. And I'm going to take the time to organize it all on that pegboard. So let's see how that turns out. Okay, this is how it turned out. And obviously this project is not complete yet, but I did get this first load down here, got it sorted. So just to give you an idea, we've got a lot more blades. Got a spare tire for the front of the zero turn. I've got three different Toros, so we got Toro filters, and then for my, a lot of my lawn equipment, I use the Mobile One filters. I've got a stockpile here of air filters, and then up here I have some brand new spare belts and a few used ones. They all fit lawn equipment. Over here I just have a variety of stuff. Uh, I think what you can see right there is a brand new gas cap for the zero turn. And this little area here is all the fittings for the uh, different fittings I might need for the sprayer. So we got all oh, this is a <laughs> I, I label the gas cans. It's a whole kit. There's probably I don't know maybe five of them in there. But they take the uh, new style gas cans and turn them back into regular gas cans. All right, so over here, I put the uh, motor oil. So that's how that came out. You probably wondered when I was doing that wood, what I was going to use these shells for. So there you go. I got oil for the mowers, the tractors, and so on. So with that being said, I'm going to end the video. Alright, if, uh, if you enjoy the content, just hit the like button. I am finally, after a couple years, I'm getting to the point to where I'm starting to get a decent number of views. So I, I'm doing my best to do my best for you guys. And hopefully you enjoy it. Thank you.